governance trend in Japanese companies, the launch of the Corporate Governance Code in 2015 could be a real long-term game changer for Japan. During the last five years, we have seen a remarkable increase in the use of committees for nominations, compensation, auditing. So you have nominations, compensation and auditing has changed multifold. There are generally consultation committees being both chaired by outside directors and with the majority members being external directors. The outside influence on the board has increased sharply. So you bring in diversity again, which is to the benefit of the minority shareholders. You see, they become more independent. That's purposeful. So you bring technocrats from various parts of the world or outside the family uh, tradition. So it is going to be a real value. At least two independent directors with a recommended level of 33% of the directors, the concept of oversight by outside directors has gradually started to emerge. And that's going to give a lot of values in real terms for the diversity. You know, in June 2018, Tokyo Stock Exchange announced revisions of Japanese corporate governance code. Today, more than two thirds of the largest 500 companies in Japan have some form of stock based compensation. That's very important. Employee stock option. Thus, the shareholders' alignment should also improve significantly as the stock's compensation plans are put in place. This will create more discipline, more, of, more governance, and commitment. In 2020, it has become possible to differentiate Japanese companies based on their board of governance structures. The board governance structure has been quite productive, especially during this pandemic.